Hello! Happy Monday! Back to our continuation of our Metroid Zero stream on our backup retro console streaming TV, which is not a retro TV, it's a plasma TV, so I have a little latency, but that doesn't seem to be causing me huge problems. This time, because I was unhappy with the way my D-pad situation was going with my other controllers, I am just going to use a GBA to control it. So that's a thing you can do with a Game Boy player. Actually, you can even see if you can see the screen. It says Game Boy player on there. I don't know how well that shows up, but... But you can totally use a GBA as a GBA controller for your Game Boy player, and it'll play how it should, theoretically. Hi, H. Lalone. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully, uh... Everything is working. Okay, my start button does work. It took me two tries. Oops, not select. Start. Let's do this thing! I forgot this thing only has a... doesn't have X and Y buttons. Alright, uh, what was I doing? I was in Norfair and I was gonna go explore some... There, made a face. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed your face. Let's see, how do we do this? I have a speed booster now, so I should probably do this the speed booster way. Get a running start. And shine spark forward. Shine spark forward some more. And down we go. There's more speed booster blocks. And there's like screw attack blocks here. Because there's a bunch. Of, I know there's another way around here where you can go. More speed booster blocks. I know there's another way around here where you can somehow get all the way down here without either of these upgrades, but I sure don't remember how to do it. I think you have to maybe go way up and then down around somehow. Right now I actually have no memory of where I am going. I guess the, yeah, the high jump is down there, but I don't remember... No, I don't think I can go through here. I think I need super missiles for that. Right now the only super missile uh, block I know of... I guess I have to speed booster down some more. The only super missile pack I know of I need the um, high jump boost again. Hello, Seal Alone 01. Hello, Ray Burst. Welcome back to my stream. Come on, let's get those missiles because they're right there. But then I want to go left through that door, so I'm gonna wall jump my way back out of here. At least I think that's the door I want. This is kind of a lot of things. Not too bad. Oops. Still kind of used to holding R to aim up, like in Super Metroid, and I held R and fired missiles instead. <laughs> And we got our high jump. Now, unlike the original high jump and the Super Metroid high jump, this this high jump has the spring the uh, spring ball built in, so I can jump in morph mode. And that's important because this game adds morph ball shine sparks, which I'll have to do at some point. Not yet. Oh, and we got the various, so we don't have to worry about this mess. Okay, those are falling blocks. Is there a... I thought there was another passage here. I don't know what's over here, but I'm going here anyway. Because I have plenty of time. Can't high jump, another optional item in this game that it tries to make you think isn't all that optional, but it's super optional. It is convenient, though. I don't know, am I supposed to speed booster my way through some of this? Probably. Looks like it. Block does not stack. 
lava bug things. Go away, lava bug things. Okay, well I jumped through there, and I jumped through there apparently way too soon. It might be easier for me to shine spark through that, honestly, but... Try to do this the intended way. There we go. Yeah, the, uh... The jumps in general in this are way less floaty than Super Metroid, and that's especially noticeable when you're doing, like, a uh, charge speed booster jump like that. Hey, save room. I don't know why I'm saving here, but... Because I don't know that I'm anywhere near where I want to be right now. I do kind of want to get the screw attack, since I seem to be getting all the major upgrades anyway. Is it around here? Uh, doesn't seem like it. I don't think it's down here either. Let's keep going left. Like the screw attack is sort of generally somewhere in this part of the game, but I don't really remember exactly how to get to it, except that it's kind of hidden. Ah, hit the monster, not that one. You stay frozen, you freeze, and then blow up. Okay. <laughs> Oh, fake lava. Oh, that entire block was illusory. Let's see what's over here, though. Map room. That'll be handy. Okay, so I guess I'll just explore kind of this whole section of Norfair, because I may as well. Not in a great hurry, I don't think, because I should be able to finish this game in plenty of time. I'm gonna head to the right first and explore this away. But then I'll probably wind up coming back. Is that all that lava down there, Fake? I don't know. It seems weird because you'd be able to uh, go a long way through it. But no, it's no way down here, I don't think. <laughs> Fill up our missile. Oh, super missile door. Can't go that way. I wonder if there's a, uh, some super missiles I could have got somewhere. If there were, it wasn't obvious to me. Oh, I'll head back to the left and down. And I was hoping a speed booster... Nope, couldn't quite get a speed booster up. Almost did, I think. That's fine, we'll just go down here. There's a thingy there. Ah, I guess if you came back through there and you were observing, you'd see it climbing through that illusory block coming uh, up and you know. Okay, there's lava. There's also, like, a room down there, but I don't know. Whatever. I was gonna go this way. Missile that thing, or what did it? I guess somewhere down here is probably the wave beam, too. I don't know. I don't remember where that is. Okay. So if I'm right, these will also be speed booster blocks. Yeah, so there is a... Uh, I think I'm near the screw attack now. Maybe. Though I think there's more than one way to get the screw attack, too, because I think you can get the screw attack without getting the... Um, Actually, there's a... My map is showing a glowy thing over here. I'm not sure how to get to that. Or is that just the... That's not the passage to Ridley. That has to be something else. I guess I'll go see where this room goes, because... I don't know. I don't know where I am. I guess... Oh, yay, five more missiles. Surely there's more than that to this, but maybe not. Yeah, maybe that's all that's over here. Am I stuck? No. Thanks to the power grip, you can still get out of there without trouble. 
nope, don't want to take a dip in that. It's not spotty. Yeah. This is the, uh, the bad jacuzzi. The bad jacuzzi and the bad sauna. Breathing that air is probably like going outside around here. I'm gonna check to the right what I might actually... Is this room? Can I do this? No, I can't run up a speed booster over here. And these stay down. So if I was gonna get a speed booster going, it has to be from down here. Or lower. Maybe even low. Okay, it looks like maybe even from below this. Though I don't know how I would get below that. Oh, it's showing there's a power-up over here, too, that I missed on the map. Okay, let's look in here a little more. There's an energy tank or something crazy good like that. Not there. It must be relatively near here, though. Not there. Burning a lot of energy trying to figure this out. Aha! There it is. Just more missiles. Got plenty of missiles now, I think. There's a speed booster block here, that must mean there's some way to get below this room and shine spark up. Because all of these are like speed booster blocks in a straight line going up. I mean there's that acid off to the left more there, but I didn't look like that went down that far, or not acid, lava. And I'd have to actually go through all that lava, which I don't think I would really survive. Here, have some missiles. Down here is a possibility. Let's save here before I take a dip in that lava. Or try to, anyway. Try to take a dip in it. Yeah, I wonder if from that too Ridley area, if there's a way I can go left more of it. Bup, 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 bup. Aha! Fake lava! Huh. That is a great big one of those. Eat all the missiles! Aha! Wave beam! So also like the later Metroid games and not like the uh, original Metroid games. All the beams stack in this one. In the original Metroid, really only the long beam would stack with the other beams. After that, you're just swapping. Wave beam! I can shoot through things now. I assume this makes my beam stronger now, but I actually don't know the beam mechanics for- Oh, that's why they had this here. Just to dent so that you could, uh, then be awesome with your wave beam and kill that thing without having to burn your missiles or be an idiot. I guess I'll keep going to the right. Don't see any... I mean, the other option would be to go way back left and try to, um... Go through that lava on the bottom left there, but that just seems like I would... Not survive. Oh, I'm full of everything. I just filled up at that statue. Okay. Ah, need speed booster. Oof. 
Probably should have tried to keep my speed booster going there. Oh, it didn't matter. Now we got this thing. Which you can't pass without the wave beam, apparently. Whoa! What was that about? I can't go back. Maybe I have to bomb it. Oh, maybe it won't go all the way over. Back up! Well, that probably works, just not great. You can get it with more bombs than that, I'm pretty sure. I could just... Pushing it back with my missile seems a lot faster than me, so... Burn some missiles doing that, because why not? Oh, there's an item here. Where, oh, there's an energy tank here. Oh, I need to get that. Missile. Beautiful! I now have six energy tanks, which I think was the maximum for the original Metroid, and so it looks like it's the maximum for this one, but it's actually totally not. Okay, I can't go... I don't think I... I don't see how I can hit that with a missile. Go up here and over to the left, potentially there. Also, just go up here. Huh. I don't really think there's anywhere. Oh, I can get a run up here and do speed booster to drop further down. I'm actually gonna explore that little area to the left though first. I think. Curious about this over here. It's just a... This was probably a standing statue that was telling me to go get the beam or something. Something I already got. High jump boots. Something somewhere. Doesn't look like that really leads anywhere, though. Whatever. Let's go this away. Get our speed booster run and proceed down. I guess I'm gonna go fight Ridley without the screw attack because I didn't find it. And I'm pretty sure I'm already past wherever it would have been. So we can get out of here with missiles. Do that missile block. Actually, before I continue on, I want to bomb the bottom of this shaft. Let's see. I feel like somewhere around here there was a morph ball launcher shortcut out of this shaft. Maybe it's in the next shaft over or something. I'm pretty sure there's another, like, shaft that's hidden somewhere near there. Doop doo doo! Blam blam! mini-boss time? Kinda looks like it. Hell, oh, Spore Spawn from Super Metroid. Or kinda something similar to it anyway. Oh, whoops, he's in the wrong place. With this we gotta use the ice beam to freeze it. Blast these tentacly things. Oops. Wasn't exactly what I meant to do, but whatever. I got the one side of it done. I kind of wanted to freeze that lower so I could just stand and uh, pull my shots up and shoot up here, but instead of having to hop. There we go. We'll see that again later, I think. Yeah, 
Down we go. And there's a mysterious cross tunnel that wasn't there in the original, for sure. <laughs> yeah, this big old thing landing. Ridley's late. Late to get to his lair. Okay. Let's go this way, I guess. For some reason, I'm blanking on how I usually would get to Ridley, even in the original Metroid game. Ah, well. Super Missile Door, so I'm not going that way yet. Oh yeah, I think that's... Here's another, uh... There's that thing that I just killed. Slipped way down to here. Yeah, I can't go through this way, I don't think. I've got no way to unmorph and shoot that missile block, so... Oh hey, speed boosters! Oh, I didn't really do any good. Come on, flex. Huh. Well, there's gotta be some way I can go somewhere. I don't think... But apparently not this way either. Where can we go? Can we go down from the middle? That looks like a big no. Which obviously can't go forward this way. Takes a missile. I can't like like the explode. My missile explosions aren't area effects, so they won't do that. Yeah, I guess I don't remember how to proceed from here. I've got the Nintendo Power magazines for this uh, area, but of course it also might expect me to have some items that I don't. But I don't think there is anything particularly special required to proceed through here. I could try Shine Sparking through here, but I should have seen um, Shine Sparky, uh, or uh, Speed Booster Destructible Blocks if there's a way to Shine Spark through here. Huh. Yep, it's good that the baby is good. that I could possibly shine spark up here, but I don't think there's one of those either. <clears throat> Maybe I'll head back up into Main Norfair and there'll be something there that I've forgotten. Or if nothing else, I can look for the... Um... I can shoot those things through the wall, but that doesn't do me any good. So this actually might take me more than one stream if I uh, can't... Um, if I get too far sidetracked here and can't figure out how to progress. Oh, I see. That's right. I can chase this thing down now. We saw that here. And... Got some eggs. Super missiles. Gray door. What 
if I can actually hurt that thing with a shine spark. Apparently not. Well, we got missiles, we got beams. Got a lot of missiles. I'm hitting him with a lot of missiles. This thing's a lot tougher than, like, say, Gray. But he's turning red, so he might be getting kind of weak now. Oh, and he's moving faster, though. Well, it's easier to get him going down downhill, because I can just fire missiles forward. Okay, I think he's in uncomfortable pain now. There we go. Super missile tank. So this is probably the first super missile tank you're supposed to get, but you can get them uh, elsewhere without having super missiles already. Just looking up here to see. There it says. Oh yeah, I guess technically that super missile is in the top part of this. Strange, it looks like there's a way out of here, but there's not up that top, I don't think. Alright, and here's our uh, missile exit. Now how do we use super missiles? So, okay, so it looks like I press select to switch between missiles and super missiles, and otherwise use them just like a uh, missile. So we can open those green doors and move further down. And that's hoping my speed boosters act would activate, but it really doesn't activate very uh, quickly in this game. I don't think I was even particularly close to uh, getting a speed booster off. Original Metroid, you would kind of like bomb through the floor here and are able to progress, but this Metroid, if the room is the same, even if the room was the same shape, you could just power grip your way through. Hello, uh, Big K. Not much up, I'm on my backup TV. Okay, let's see. This looks an awful like the, lot like the fake floor room. Let's see where the fake floor is. Oh, and I would have made it with the power grip, except that there was a monster right there ready to hit me. I don't think I can, uh, wall jump my way through there. Up we go! Just, just fur enough over to not get hit by those things as I went by. <laughs> well, it's good to know how you are too, uh, Ray Burst, but I was actually asking, uh, Big K, how Big K was. It's a different Big K. Yeah, I'm good that you're glad you're well. Oh, H Lone was asking. I see. I thought when I thought you were uh, at, thinking that you were Big K because of your other name. Missed a couple lines of chat there, I guess. Yeah, still on my backup TV. We got some lag, but it's not too noticeable. Oh, I guess there's a save point here. My memory of this whole... My memory of a lot of Metroid Zero is apparently pretty fuzzy. Oh, a PB on what? I didn't see what, I didn't, uh, see what you were playing today. Got missile down there. Let's just see what's over here, though. I got lots of missiles. Oh, right, X4. Seeing somebody play X3 the other day that they didn't normally play, and I can't remember if that was you or not. Got some missile tags. And you're playing that as X, right? Oh, hey, a map room. 
Okay, so that was you, I think. Dropped it briefly. I, was, I thought there was. I had a sense that there was a thing up here. Whee! Okay. More regular missiles. This isn't good music to sing to. Oh, I don't know. This is creepy music. I don't know if I can keep this up for very long. It's really creepy music. an exit from another passageway. Let's go. That's the gravity suit icon. Can I fall down through this? Yes, I can. Whoa. Ah. Falling. I made it. Now where do we go from here? Oops. That's real lava. And so's that. Wall jump and all sorts of weird angles. Oh, here we go and blast the thingies. It's down here. More lava. Missile tank acquired. It's a good thing I switched to this for controls. Did I set for a timer for this? I think I only... I think it's supposed to be five minutes. Just add... A little less than that now. There's a timer for the singing to count down now. Oh, well, that's tricky to get to. I speed. Should I go left or should I go down? Go through these things. These are energy balls. Super missile, super missile, super missiles. The bad Cheerios. We will see later. Yeah. Almost 
time. Poor Ridley. Let's go this way first. There's a lot of monsters here. And some speed booster blocks. Energy tank! I'll make it easier to fight Ridley. Don't think I want to go that way now. <laughs> Maybe I need to clear this room so I can see the screen. Maybe not, I'm not sure how this is gonna work. I don't think there's anything really in the way. I guess this one takes three missiles. Guess that's the uh, the end of the singing timer. There's the gravity suit. Analysis inconclusive. Item compatible, incompatible with current suit. But it's totally the gravity suit icon that you see in a uh, Super Metroid. Ridley's late. We saw him flying in on that cutscene, and I guess he missed us. I'm totally switching for super missiles for no particular reason. Oop! Now the waste of a super missile. Ah! Fireballs! Let me out of here. Okay, I'm just gonna bomb that so this is not in the way. Alright, missiles won't go through his tail. Ouch. Okay, not too bad. Not too hard of a Ridley fight. Gotta keep unloading into him. That is done. Let me go ahead and pop back into this room because the Chozo statue will re recharge me all the way. Yeah, I kind of blew him away fairly quickly, but Ridley, Ridley fights are generally pretty fun in Metroid games. Looks like there should be, like, stuff up above. Uh, there is. Though nothing really to collect, it's just, like, this nook over here that we're gonna probably drop down. Yep. Now we need to get out of here. There's probably a shortcut. Yeah, there's a shortcut out if I go to the right, because I kind of already saw that. Let's back up and get so we can charge our speed booster for sure. Interesting thing about the. Another interesting thing about the speed booster in this Metroid game is that you can, like, shine spark on hills to. get your speed booster power back. Actually, I wonder if I can, uh keep speed boostering through there. Just straight. Uh, Ridley is probably more of an it, but he's usually referred to as a he, I think. You know, it's Ridley, not Ripley. <laughs> Come on, let's out. Uh, 
uh, yeah, I guess we're leaving Riddens Lair at Norfair. Let's head up the shaft here. We haven't really been in the upper right corner of this section, so we'll go up that way. There's our one way, uh, way out. Do -do 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 -do. And you know, like Ridley Scott is a. I think Ridley Scott is. I don't know. I assume he's male. I don't know. There's a thing up here that I guess I'll bomb jump up to. Don't know if there's something up here, but I assume there is, because there's this kind of hidden. Oh, I didn't quite. I needed to diagonal bomb jump one more uh, jump there. Come on, you're just like not quite in a. There we go. <laughs> if you're just a teeny bit further left, that would have been a lot easier. Yeah, this this Metroid game has the best bomb jumping. It's it's pretty easy to do. It's the bombs are quick. They explode quick. You can a lot of flexibility and like the being able to do it diagonally and straight up and even almost horizontally, although I'm not sure if I really quite remember how to do that. that the horizontal bomb jumping requires a lot of more precision. But... Mm -hmm. Uh could say it here, but I guess I'm not going to. I have a lot of energy tanks. Famous last words. <laughs> I have a lot of energy tanks. Let's see what's over here. There is a broken Chozo statue here. Screw attack blocks. Maybe they put the screw attack down here. That'd be weird, but maybe. I think there's a... I think I can use the missiles there to um, bypass... I guess I'll shine spark forward because I don't know what else to do here. Um, oh yeah, speed booster here. Okay, so I think my options here were I could... Uh, like, you're supposed to use the screw attack to use those boost... the morph booster to the right, but there's a missile block that you could shoot out instead to access it, and then you can not go up here and get the screw attack, because this is where the screw attack is. And all these... I'll get that missile later. It'll be easier with the screw attack. Screw attack! And I believe it's possible to get the screw attack earlier without having to go that way. There's some way to get a, a speed boost somewhere where you can access it without the... Uh... Yep, yippee, screw attack! Chew through all those rivers. Like, I think there's somewhere you can get a speed boost to get up through that vertical column of speed boost blocks without having to go all the way down around through and beat Ridley first. But it's also possible I'm remembering that wrong. I don't think I am. I guess we can see what's over here now, too. Which I just want to do, because I currently don't remember hardly anything about this game. Despite the number of times I like different ways I low percented and did different stuff with it. But that was a long time ago. And it's been a long time since I played through it again. Maybe next time I have a plane ride, I'll play through it a couple more times. <laughs> Speed booster blocks there. If they wanted to be mean, they'd make all those little blocks, uh, screw attack blocks. Okay, what is this? I assume that's fake lava down there. Yep.
this lead to an energy tank? I feel like this was a long... Well, in this case, it leads to a super missile that I... I'm not sure I can easily get to. Actually, I'm not sure I can with difficulty get to it. Let's try a diagonal bomb jump. No, that was a bad angle. This might work. There we go. Not sure how I'm supposed to get that, but that's how I did get that. <laughs> There's something in there that I just blew up without noticing that there probably was something in that room that I blew up without really paying attention that would have been a uh, option for um freezing and jumping on. <laughs> I feel like there's probably some way I could have speed boosted my way through there, but... Oh, whoops. Dip in the lava. I didn't see a place where I could shine spark there, though, so I don't know. Yeah! Ow! Oh right, I almost forgot the thing that messed me up earlier is that you can actually start a spin in mid uh, mid air, air, mid jump in this by pressing jump again. It'll propel you forward and start you spinning. So you can start a screw attack even if you had uh, not jumped off doing one initially. So yeah, I'm not, I don't think there was a shortcut out of there. Further to the right, there might have been. If I could have. Maybe if you shine sparked across the top, you could have done it or something. I'm not sure, but. Oh, hello. There's a lot of you now. I wonder if I could screw attack those. Oh well, super missiles worked. Super missiles back. So I don't really know what the drop rate of those is like, so they haven't had them for very long yet. Ridley gave me a couple back. You know how often? Well, like there's another one, I suppose. Whee! This is not how I get out. Oh, yeah, I can go this way. Buzz our way forward. And I guess I may as well go see what's through this green door that was over here. Fun. These are all screw attack walls. So I'm just sawing through them, even though I'd really like to land on them and <laughs> power grip my way up. Something's here. Ah, this is. Oh, I guess they I guess there'd be more screw attack would go through those. Uh okay, this looks like I wanna do this kind of oop. This looks like it's gonna be like a chain reaction destroying thing, and I don't wanna fall because it'll probably drop me somewhere that's tricky to get back up from. Yep. But that way, by starting the chain reaction at the top instead of the bottom, I can run across the bottom still and then uh, get the... Super missiles before dropping down. Ah, I stopped my screw attack so I can land. I'm pressing up. really want to go down through there. Really, I probably wanted to probably someplace good for me to shine spark here that would have uh, brought me up. But I guess I'll just go this way. 
Okay, is there a... Oh uh, yeah, there is definitely some uh, shine sparkable path here, I think. Like if I had gone here... Nope, that doesn't shine spark either. It'd get me a little ways up, but not all the way up. And then one more room we can check, because we never went all the way into here because uh, I didn't have the Varia first time. Probably use missiles, though. Because that's what was up here in uh, original Metroid. There are two missile packs. Yeah, I don't know if there's more or not. This time there's just the one. There's more behind that wall, I don't really care. <laughs> now let's get out of here and go to Torian. See if we can find old Mother Brain. Did I just go the wrong way? I did, didn't I? Why'd I do that? Wasn't paying attention, I guess. Unfortunately, since we have super missiles now, we can go back the, this way instead of having to um, go back the long way. This is where I want to be. This way. Oops, should have jumped. Didn't. Saving room. Alright, who wants to see Mother Brain? Oops. Oh right, I can I can buzz saw through rippers even when I don't want to. Actually I think you can buzz saw up through those platforms on the sides. Come to think of it. Oh right, Rinstar music. I love the Rinstar music. Also, you may have noticed I'm wearing one of my Metroid shirts. My, ori my uh, original Hunter. Original Hunter shirt. Since we are playing a remake of the original. Okay. Oh, actually. Right, I did want to um, do this thing over here. Which is actually a little tricky. We shine spark in ball form from that lower part in that room with the door open to the left. And we can shine spark through here. Thing is, we actually need to shine spark, uh, I guess we shine, did we shine spark in the wrong place or did I shine, end my shine spark early somehow? Looks like maybe I had to shine spark from slightly higher. Not too much higher because uh I still have to go through here. Or do I have to like recharge my shine spark? In there somewhere. I actually may not exactly remember how this particular shine spark works. I think I have to do this, actually. That crazy combo Shine Spark thing, where you recharge your Shine Spark just before you leave, you drop down and spin jump onto the platform so that you don't accidentally Shine Spark first, but do it quickly enough so that you keep your Shine, that your shine Spark charge doesn't go away, and then you uh, Shine Spark back across from that one particular platform in ball form and can get those super missiles. went pretty smoothly, but I think the first time I ever did that, it took me a bunch of tries. I must still have some muscle memory from trying to do that over and over. <laughs> All the other times I played this game and got the speed booster. 
so it didn't actually uh, look very hard. <laughs> I think I'm actually about at full here. Yep. Full everything except energy. Up here, roundabout, is where the statues were and where we got the long beam. The game made us go look at these statues so that you kind of can. So, because it. And when you kill the bosses, it showed us these statues again, so you kind of knew where that was already. Even if you. So there's. Unless you were already skipping things, there you wouldn't, um. Not know where that was. Get some Metroid 3 intro music callbacks here. Now, each Lalone was mentioning the bad Cheerios. They should be showing up here relatively soon. This is a little bit different layout than the original Corian. I don't actually remember. Of course, my map just shows like one vertical shaft. Hey, and we actually see a space pirate, which you never saw a space pirate in the original Metroid. <laughs> and we got the bad Cheerios. The Rinkas. Rinka, Rinka! And a Metroid. We also have super Metroid, or super missiles we can use for these Metroids. Ah, and like Super Metroid, this Metroid game locks the doors. So you actually have to fight the Metroids. No skipping Metroids. Ah, Rinka blocked one of my missiles. Do -do 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 -do. Oop, I stand a little too close there. They don't say frozen for oops. It's a little too high. Uh, they don't stay frozen for very long. And compared to most of the enemies in this game, they're pretty durable. I think the Super Metroid ones stay uh, frozen longer too. Do do do. Got Metroids up here. Metro, miss, super missile that one, because why not? Okay, let's go down. I can just go down. What's over here? Oh, another save point. I don't know that I need a save room every minute and a half in this area, but sure, why not? <laughs> and there's green. And this game, this game also has green brinkas, which actually do drop power ups. So you can actually farm. Uh, missiles and things here if you need to. Oops. Somehow my, my pointer finger completely failed to even try to actuate the L button, so I was not aiming where I intended. Ah! They got me. Go away. Stop. It's nice that you have the missile firing rate isn't sprite limited like it is in the original for fighting Metroids. That was always annoying when you froze a Metroid kind of far away and had to slowly fire missiles into it. Uh, rat. I'll just finish that one off first. Come on. Get off. that one off, get rid of you, try to get rid of you. There we go. Actually, even the regular Rinkas are dropping power-ups. I think the green Rinkas are more likely to drop super missiles or something. I think I figured something out about that at some point. 
I want that energy ball. And another save point. This is probably the last one. Sure, that's it. 169 missiles. Power our way through here. The screw attack to get through the gun shots without getting hurt, mostly. And also the Rinkas. And hello, Mother Brain. Oops, I meant to hit select to switch to super missiles, not start to uh, pause the game. Don't want to fall here. If I fall, she's just gonna shoot the laser at me again as soon as I get on the poop, like that. So falling to dodge the laser doesn't do me any good because I still have to dodge the uh, laser and not fall before I can attack her again. I forget, can I like hit her with a couple missiles and a super missile? I think that's the more optimal way to go. Self-destruct mechanism evacuated activated. Evacuate immediately. We have a few minutes, and that seems like less time than the original? I don't remember. Also, all these uh platforms, if you stand on them for too long, will fall will uh, break away and you fall. But you have the power grip. So even though they're also a lot narrower than the uh original Metroid. They're actually quite a bit easier to... You can also probably just wall jump up the side. <laughs> Honestly. Oop. Unless I mess up. Oh, I thought I could... Ah, uh, no. This is bad. How embarrassing. There we go. That'll work. Up we go! Except we are not done yet. More like in the uh, Super Metroid escape sequence, we gotta get all the way back to our ship. There we go. All safe. Get out of our power suit now. Fly away. Everything explodes. We win. Except we're surrounded by uh, space pirate fighters. Which we can outrun. The 
timing of my escape couldn't have been worse. I was attacked by space pirates and left nearly defenseless, stripped of my power suit. All I had for protection was my rather useless emergency pistol. Infiltrating the space pirate mothership so armed may have been foolish, but I had no choice. Could I survive long enough to escape? Pistol. An auto-charging pistol. Stun enemies with charge attacks. This gun basically does nothing if it's not fully charged. It'll open doors and that's about it. If it is fully charged, then it can stun enemies. There's that power bomb symbol. We've not yet seen power bombs. Only seen one or two power bomb blocks. Oh, can't open that green door. Don't have super missiles. But we have this vent we can blast through. We can't morph, but we can crawl. Creepy mechanical eye. Now we're going to play some Metal Gear Samus. I usually don't like stealth games that have uh, this type of stealth thing in them, but this one is actually pretty fun because even when you get seen, you can still like progress, it just is more dangerous. Also all of the save rooms are also energy recharges here, which is really nice and matches like what you see in the Prime games with space pirate save rooms. Or data recording rooms, or whatever they're called. I forget. <laughs> so here is our uh, initial stealth tutorial. Oop, I missed my uh, stunning shot. But we can... So each of these space pirates does one energy tank worth of damage. So, I mean, getting hit by them is rough. But not insta-killy. And if you get away, hide, then the alarm turns off, and all's well. These laser things all trip the alarms, of course. Ah, almost. If you uh, blow that and then immediately spin, you can sometimes you can grab onto the uh, ledge there. Also, the space pirates, their lasers will uh, blast the other space pirates. And make them explode, which is kind of nice. Like a lot of these places, it seems like you can't really avoid getting seen, but in almost, at least almost all of them, you can actually totally avoid getting detected. Just sometimes it requires some really tight timing or precision to do so. And sometimes it's easier just to get detected and run in the places where it's kind of like what you're expected to do. But it's still fun to try. Because the penalty for failure is not go back to your last save point like it is in a lot of games that have these uh, kind of stealth sequences. And it's not even necessarily like retry the area because sometimes you like you fail and you are seen, but you still run forward to eventually uh, get away. There are a couple places where you actually have to uh, kind of backtrack, but oh, not going that way. Boop! Not going that way. We're going this way. Up down. No. Ow. Okay, I am presumably safe here because I can't go anywhere. There we go. Nowhere to go but forward. Okay, we got searchlights. Those probably don't show up well on stream. Maybe they do, I don't know. Whoa, almost got seen by that one. 
Looks like they're showing up on stream. On some people's stream, when they stream this game because the searchlights don't show up uh, every frame, it's every other frame. They're just like totally invisible. That probably might be more of a uh, emulator thing. Playing this through the Game Boy Player, it might get a more correct looking uh, effect. curious to look at my uh, recording later and see if they show up as a uh, flickering like they're supposed to or not. You see like that was like I kind of remembered that part so I was able to do it without on my first try but actually getting through that room without tripping any of those lasers like normally your first try would be super difficult. <laughs> I think I have gone through this without being I actually don't remember if it's t possible to get through all of it without being seen, but if it... Like, here I'm gonna get seen. Probably. Oh! Yeah, I can't remember if it's po possible to get through the entire thing without being seen, but I've gotten through at least almost everything without being seen. I don't know, it's been a long time since I, like, played this game more seriously. To remember for sure. Run away! Whoop. See me? Yes. Okay, I couldn't remember if I could hide up there or not. I think I can hide here. Yep, there he goes. Save room. Yeah, either way, it's, this part is fun to me. <laughs> like, this is probably the only game that I know, can think... This is the only game I can think of that I thought having this, like, stealth... That is not, like, primarily a stealth game that has, has had this stealth game added to it, and I actually thought it made the game better. Pirate over there. Do I want to go that way? I don't think I do. <laughs> Whee! And it's not just the stealth part that, uh... And it's not just this part that I think it makes better. It's the part... It's the payoff after this is really good, too. I feel like I should be being chased by stuff through there, but uh, I guess whatever it was it didn't uh, see me. Yeah, and this is a part where somebody, one of them will chase it out here and like try to shoot you up from here, and you can shoot the floor out from under by blasting these blocks. But it looks like I uh, didn't get seen by whatever normally would do that to me. And then after they fall down the pit, the uh, alarm goes off. So these things will, uh, these eye beams or searchlight kind of things. I can hang here and not get seen as they uh, go by. I think it'll see me- I think it can see my foot dangling, but it doesn't see my fingers peeking up over the edge. Okay, here we go. Hello! Goodbye. I don't think this works. Nope! <laughs> They're wise to my tricks on that part. Oh, wait. Go this way. That's right. Hide here. There we go. Do 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 do. Wall jumps is. I think is another place where I could have like I could have also gone up here and hidden maybe. And our power bombs. Oh, what's over here? I forget. Oh, save room. That's good. Let's do that. <laughs> power 
power bombs are gone. No power bombs for Samus today. Oh, there they go. That pirate's got him. That that pirate who walks by and then just disappears. <laughs> I kind of like how her ponytail bounces when she uh, drops down, or even when she like crouches and stands up. Crawl through here. I think that one goes up. No, it doesn't come all the. No, it doesn't go all the way down. Come on, grab onto there. Wait for the thing to come by. Think. I can't see up, so I don't want to uh, just come up and then my head have my head stick out. Yeah, because the top of her head sticks out, so that probably wouldn't have been good. I'm sure, I'm gonna get seen here. I remember this part. I think I have got through here without being seen. This is one of the hardest parts to get through without being seen. I don't exactly remember the trick to it. I want to go this way. I'm gonna assume I want to go this way. I definitely remember being chased through here a lot of times. Crawl! Crawl fast! Crawl quickly! Crawl for your life! Wall jump for your life! A lot easier to get through there if you can wall jump. Whee! Run, run, run! Oops, and I messed up. That's not good. Ah! Grab the block. There we go. That's what I was trying to grab that block. I didn't want it. Must have just charged. Oh, didn't quite charge fast enough to get that guy. Running. Okay, I've got two energy tanks left. Plus my energy that I have left. Okay, good. Got that shot out from under them in time that they couldn't leap to the uh, other side. Three more shots and I would have been toked. I think. What if those shots actually do two energy tanks? I forget. I'm not sure that running into them and getting shot with them actually does the same amount of damage. One of those might do more. Because also I've played this game on hard a bunch and thought does di more damage on hard and I don't remember. Or do you just get less energy? I forget. Energy tanks give you half as much. Yeah, that was, that's one of the, the harder parts of that section. It's also the last part of that section, because now, here we are. Having a little flashback. Samus's memory. I got hit. That's fine. reward for getting through all that stealth stuff. We get a new power suit. Compatible with the plasma beam. The gravity suit. And the space jump that we all that we picked up earlier as those unknown items. And we have Samus's theme. And now, the alarms are just gonna be on. And we don't care, because <laughs> we can just blast our way through everything. <laughs> and 
And with the gravity suit, we're not affected by water or lava. Oh, I need to actually speed booster all the way through that. But yeah, like I said, the, it's like the stealth part is actually really good, and then the payoff for the stealth part is great. <laughs> Of course, other ways around that, in case you don't have the uh, screw attack. Let's see, where do I need to go? Yep, and we're just going right through the lava, and we still don't care. <laughs> Some more super missiles. Get out of here. Let's see. Uh, I guess we want to go down and then back over to the right into the um, space pirate ship. Now these I-beam things are shoot projectiles, but ah, we just plasma beam our way through. Let's do this over here. Did go down here. This might not actually be anywhere though. Oh, there's an item here of some kind. Around here. I don't see where it is. But... Maybe here? Ah, super missiles. I think I've charged. I, char I don't even think I have charged my plasma beam yet. Save room. Oh, the space pirates hiding from us <laughs> up in the shadows there. still do a fair amount of damage, but uh, it's reduced considerably by the area in the gravity suit. Back we go. I'm gonna shine spark up here. I don't know. Well, I guess that was a good place to shine spark. Oops. Should have known that was gonna happen. I guess I'll just keep going over to the right. Oh, I have to whip around to the left here. Mostly go to the right. Oh, Metal Pirate! These things actually take more than one hit. <laughs> there we go. Also, we got these, uh, orby things, like the wrecked ship in, uh, So this is not at all shaped like the wrecked ship, so presumably it's not the same thing. Save room is powered off because the alarm was on when I entered it, so I have to leave and come back in after clearing the alarm by blasting that pirate. Yes, sure, save, why not? I probably want to be around here somewhere. Let's see. I probably want to go up somehow. Kind of be nice to have power bombs now, just so I can check the whole room for uh, different types of blocks. I was just assuming that was a missile block, I guess I was right. 
backup little tin can thing. These are also from the wrecked ship. But I'm pretty sure the Chazodia is not the wrecked ship, because it doesn't look anything like it. It isn't shaped anything like it. I actually didn't think the wrecked ship had, had, had anything to do with the space pirates or initially, but... Might just be doing some callbacks to that for fun. Ah, I knew it. I knew that there was a, some sort of trap here. But that's fine. Still got the super missiles. Can't get through that yellow door because that's a power bomb thing. Let's go anywhere. Can we get out on the left or something? Doesn't look like it. So where do we go from here? Looks like there should be a passageway to the left, but maybe get go down from the super missile thing instead. I'm not sure how that might work. It would have to be like below where the screen transitions. I don't see anything down here. Must be barking up the wrong tree for that. Try a different, uh, different route somewhere. Um, well, we could try going down into the right, into the towards the beginning of this section. There's some doors we couldn't get through before. Like I really don't. I don't. I think any time I play this, after not having played it for even a relatively short while, I forget where to go in this part. Until I get power bombs. Wee screw attack. More screw attack, maybe? No, maybe not. No, that's just normal bomb bomb stuff. Metal pirate couldn't even didn't even get a chance to see me. Okay, whatever. Yeah, let's try going further down here. Oh, I don't need power bombs to go down from here. Hmm. I guess I'll go back up and to the right then and try to. Uh... why I would care about that spotlight at this point. Yeah, I'm gonna go try to go up and to the right and maybe back the way I came in if possible. Oh, screw it. There we go. <laughs> yeah, just walk back and forth up there. That's it's gonna that'll totally work. Just keep doing that. get me eventually, right? Yeah, the uh, morph spin, or the uh, spin jump from mid-air thing. Oh yeah, I can't screw attack this guy. Also, I guess, lets me restart my space jumps. That's nice. Let's go this way. Oh, I don't think this is actually where I want to be. But maybe there's something else up here. And I'm actually low on energy again. What was the passageway? Little pirates. We get low on energy again. Like, real low on energy. Blocks. I don't see that I can, uh, where I would speed booster to do that, though. From this side, anyway. Run, little robot! Out of curiosity, I just want to bomb the right side here and 
Yep, those are speed boosters. Speed booster blocks. Okay, now I'm on the other side of that power bomb door at least. Oh, I'm getting shot from behind. But now I'm kinda critically low on uh, energy. No save point for me to... There's no save points for quite a ways though, and I don't think I pick up any energy from the uh, police pirate, so I might... I'm actually pretty likely gonna die here. But, I don't know. I don't care. I like the music here. I'll play this part a little more. Of course, I'm gonna try to not die. I guess I can get energy from those things, potentially. Ah, trying to drag. Oh well, I guess I won't get energy from those. I was trying to screw attack them. I could have had a little bit. Could have had about a, a whole energy tank. I hadn't messed that up, but oh well. Try not to let him shoot at me. There's a save point nearby. I can get to it. Through here without getting killed by something. Okay, goody. Phew. 39 energy left. Not very many things that wouldn't kill me in one hit with the 39 energy left. this area anyway. But we're good now. Still haven't found those power bombs. Did I actually miss the power bombs? Maybe I did, I don't know. I was thinking a power bump might not be optional, but maybe they are. And I accidentally found my way around them. But I don't remember where they got picked up either, so where they would where you go pick them up either, so I don't know. Yeah, it was pretty close. Mostly due to a lack of a total lack of caution on my part. Yeah, I think I need the power bombs to get through here. I don't think the power bombs are an option. Well, let's try going this way. Whee! Oh, there's our power bomb tote pirate. We gotta slowly uh, bomb our way over here. Oh, look, power bombs just sitting there waiting for me to take them. With a bunch of with the laser gates to set off the alarms. And now we got everything. Let's say R plus B. Power bomb. I'm just gonna bomb jump over these laser gates because that's the safest way to get over here, I think. Whee! Is that, there's like a giant pile of pirates who mob you if you. Uh, I'm just gonna set off a power bomb here because I feel like there should be something. Oh, the other way. There we are. Oh, look, more power bombs. Because I do remember, like, if you set off those gates, like, four pirates will just, like, jump on you like that. Oops. Go away. Oh, oop. Oop, then left, not up and right. Of the power bombs, there's a bunch of places in the game you can backtrack to to pick up more power, mostly more power bombs, but I think some more super missiles and, and energy tanks too. And 
and find even more like shortcuts between the different zones. Because actually going through and finishing getting 100% at this point, if you've been collecting the appropriate amount of stuff on the way, doesn't actually take very long because of all the shortcuts they put in for all the different uh, power-ups between the power bombs, the screw attack, and the speed booster. back through there and see what that uh, speed booster uh, thing is. And I messed it up, so I'm going to try it again. Need to jump a little bit shorter than that. There we go. I think I have to... I think I have to... Oops, not trip those. I think if I trip those, I can't get the thing that... Yeah, there's an energy tank here, but I have to get through those laser gates without setting off the alarm. little on the tricky side. Eh. That's also a thing. Actually, that little jump there is surprisingly tricky to do. It needs to just jump a little too far. There we go. I don't know if I can shine... Nope. Went too low. Eh. I probably don't need that energy tank. Actually, I probably do need that energy tank, but I'm just gonna try to do without it anyway. I bothered with that. <laughs> nope, gotta fall slowly. Here's our anticipatory uh, boss room. That's Mecha Ridley. It has a very obvious weak point there, but it's a little tricky to actually hit a lot of the time because his uh, neck, his head and neck will block it a lot of the time. Oops, he didn't start instead of select. Well, the shield is off of it now. So we've got lasers and missiles and that claw swipe. So that claw swipe reaches the bottom left corner of the room, but it comes in as an arc, so if you're high enough, it'll miss you. That's why I keep uh, jumping when he brings... jumping up into the corner and space jumping when he uh, brings his claw back. I wasn't high enough that time. That was easier than I remember. I think I have more super missiles than I usually... Five minutes to self-destruct. I think it hard something like two or three minutes. Something definitely more difficult than the uh... Come on. Oh, I can go this way. Oh, there's a... Oh, I can go up through there too, I guess. Okay, whatever. Let's go. <laughs> Now, I don't remember the proper way to get through here at all. <laughs> Hopefully it's sealing the doors that I'm not supposed to take. Whee, let's go, Samus! Run, run! Okay, I guess I'll go this way. Oh, right, that's uh, not a. Uh, I have to go this way. Yeah! Stop the little lightning burst knocking me all around. Power bomb! Oh, 
Okay, you can't go left. You have to go up. See, they did seal some of these doors so you don't go the wrong way. Which is good. Little robot, go faster. Ah, you get too close to him, your missiles like don't actually go off. Okay, I gotta go down. And then up, and around. There might be some other shortcuts here that I'm not seeing. Wouldn't surprise me at all. Whee! And we got some metal pirates. Like, I think there's a whole section you can shine spark through that I did. But... Open, says me. Nice if that pirate did not take off in this ship. Second escape and explosion. It's been accomplished. Oh, time for me to go to the restroom while the credits play. Samus, when she was a little girl, added to this uh, mural. <laughs> I don't see how long this took us. Long time. <laughs> Thank you, Rayburst. Yeah, this, uh, I mean, this was not a good time. This was a poor time, but I've forgotten a lot about this game, apparently. But this has a, this game actually has a pretty wide, uh, a, a variety of ending gallery screenshots for the, um, different kind
kinds of uh, challenges it has. It has endings, because it has like this ending. It has endings for different amounts of time and different completion percentages, both high percent, like 100%, they have different ending images. But they also have different uh, different ones for low percent and for hard difficulty versus normal. There's a lot of uh, different ones. Okay, kind of, I think this is the bar one. Kind of like this bar one with the, the hooded alien. Yeah, there's the... So I did 15... I've done a couple different 15% runs on this. I think I did at least one hard 15% run. That's that top save file that only has one energy tank. So when you finish the game on hard, you unlock, or on normal you unlock hard, although it might require you to do a certain amount of time on normal, I don't remember, but hard difficulty is a lot harder, partly because um, they also have the fusion gallery that you can unlock by hooking it up with fusion for the Metroid fusion endings. I don't really know why they did that. That actually might be what unlocks the original Metroid on here too. But in hard mode, there's less time for some of the escape sequences. I think enemies do and take more damage, but also you just get way less ammunition and you have less energy because each energy tank only gives you half as much energy. Like missile packs only give you two missiles a piece and super missile packs only give you one missile a piece instead of five and two. So you wind up you have a way less stuff, especially if you're doing a 15% run where you're only picking up 15 items. I think the low percent for Metroid Zero is like 8 or 9. You can do, you can beat the game with only picking up 8 or 9 items. But the the game, like, for getting the different ending uh, gallery images, the, the number you're aiming for is 15 items. And usually that involves skipping some of the main power-ups. Like, because you can not get, you can just, like, not get the speed boost, or you can not get the screw attack. There's a bunch of things where it, it kind of looked like, like, how would I have gotten through there without this thing? But there was another way around. It just was not obvious. And a lot of the, and a lot of them I didn't find. And a couple of them I found or I saw, but, like, at, when it wasn't really relevant. And, of course, bomb jumping lets you get a lot of places that you, uh, <laughs> can't get to in an obvious way. So I've still got 10 minutes left. Um, I might just pop in Penguin Wars of all the weird things just to do something fun for 10 minutes and weird that I haven't done in a while. Also look real quick at the box. Metroid Zero Mission. The full story of Samus Aran's first mission finally unfolds. The first Metroid game just scratched the surface of the cataclysmic events on planet Zebes, and at long last the rest of the tale has come to light. Experience the first of Samus's legendary adventures through all new cutscenes and action sequences as the bounty hunter races through the deeps towards her showdown with the leader of the space pirates. But will the end of Mother Brain really mean the end of the story? Get lost on Zebes. The maze-like space pirate fortress has been entirely rebuilt with features like morph ball launchers and zip lines, and it crawls with vicious new enemies and bosses. Arm yourself. Use weapons and equipment drawn from the entire Metroid series, like the speed booster and morph ball, and new power-ups like the power grip as Samus hunts Kraid, Ridley, and the Metroids. And it has a screenshot of Kraid and uh, one of the and part of the intro cutscene on the uh, back. Linking features require a Game Boy Advance Game Link cable sold separately, but like really the only thing the linking feature does is unlock the Fusion Gallery and unlock the original Metroid. And I don't really know why those uh, were... I don't really know why you'd hide the original Metroid behind the uh, linking with Metroid Fusion except to uh, try to get pe more people to buy Fusion, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> and we got the manual... I don't know if there's anything cool in this manual, I don't remember. Oh, we got some story background text. Quite a bit of story text, a full two pages with not much pictures and fairly small. 
I guess it's talking about the creation of the Galactic Federation. And how it, and, and, but otherwise just kind of the, what triggered the events of this particular game. It doesn't really talk about Samus's history, I don't think. Got to read the comics for that, I suppose. <laughs> And here's our map of uh, Planet Z. Just sort of shows the lay the how the main areas are uh, positioned relative to each other. Has a list of power up items. It includes the screw attack. I think it. Oh, it includes power bombs. It does not include the uh, unknown items, though. It doesn't include this plasma beam, the gravity suit, or the space jump. Looks like it has about everything else, though. They did still make these those hidden. And they actually talk about the special blocks, which I'm not sure any of the other uh, Metroid manuals do. And actually pictures what the special blocks are and says what you need to get through them. And talks about pit blocks. And the fact that there are fake blocks that are... that just look like blocks, but you can just pass through them. Yeah, so if you do the special feature... Oh, actually, beating Zero Mission unlocks the original Metroid. So that's a thing that you can do. You don't have to You don't have to link with Fusion for that. Looks like the only thing you get from uh, linking to Fusion is unlocking the um, Fusion Gallery. They did a bunch of things with, like that with these games. Like, if you linked your... If you're playing Metroid Prime, you could, li you could plug a Game Boy Advance into your GameCube and uh, with Metroid Fusion in it and unlock the Fusion suit in Metroid Prime. And that was actually kind of neat to see that in 3D, but I didn't like the look of it as much as Samus's regular suit, so <laughs> didn't really uh, care about that <laughs> that much. And actually, there are like three Nintendo Power magazines for Metroid Zero. One that had a preview, and then two that... Uh, covered the whole thing. And I think one of these also had, like, the, the one with Sword of Mana in it, this one. This was the second Sword of Mana one, I think. It has the preview for Metroid Zero. And then the this one with the cool Crystal Chronicles cover was, like, the first half or first some amount of Metroid Zero, and then this Pokemon Coliseum one was the second second part. So I had all those things ready, even though I didn't wind up uh, using them. Yeah, now we have five minutes left for some Penguin Wars. All right, real quick short game of Penguin Wars while we're uh, finishing off our stream. This game is almost as old as I am, 1985. I usually played the penguin in this. Or maybe the bat, but that was also good. They have the the different characters have different stats. Some are faster, some throw the ball harder, some are more durable and will get up after being hit. This is basically a dodgeball game. Except that you uh So you can throw the balls, you 
can hold the button down to charge up a stronger throw, but if you do that for too long, you'll stun yourself. If you hit someone with a uh, charged ball like that, it'll stun them for longer than a normal hit, I think, too. But the goal is to get all your balls onto the other side. And I guess if you had two Penguin Wars and two Game Boys, this is a two-player game, but, uh, <laughs> I don't know if any... I don't know that I've ever seen anyone else with a copy of this game to actually try the uh, two-player with. I forgot about the bonus game. Dodge. I can just, like, throw the balls across, and then, and then you get more balls to throw across. I think something shows up in the middle at some point to, like, block your throws. Let's see, maybe it's halfway. 15 seconds? Oh, yep, and then there's this slime thing that kind of makes your balls go weird, but... And this, uh, this one, definitely the, the faster characters are better at this. Now the cow is... The cow is tough because the cow doesn't stay down very long, so it's hard to finish off the cow all the way. Because the cow is slow, but once they're... Once their side of the board is full... Like, uh, okay, the cow stayed down that time long enough to fill it in. You can get into situations where it's hard to, uh, where you don't have, where the, the cow is just kind of slowly, like, rolling a ball across, and you don't have any balls to, uh, knock them down, and they're just getting, like, all their balls back over on your side. The cow's throws are also, uh, North standard throws are also, I think, stronger than the other crit the other animals, so his balls will kind of push your balls aside. Oops. Don't want to get beamed by the ball in the beginning of the bonus game. Yeah, I think the bat and the rat are both better in the bonus game, just simply because they can move, uh, faster across the board. Especially the rat. The rat is very fast, but has weak throws, and if he does get hit, he stays down a long time. Okay, this guy will actually, if you uh, hit him, he will, you know, laugh at you and then send the ball directly back at you. Or, well, directly back. Not at you, necessarily. Yeah, that's not bad. 33? I think that's not bad. I don't actually remember what the maximum I've gotten here is. I think with the faster characters, I've got pretty high uh, numbers there. So here's the rat. If I can hit the rat, it's probably all over. Yep, that's it. Never mind. <laughs> like, the first loop of this is apparently not very hard. But I think you do uh, multiple loops and it's harder this, uh, after the first. Like, they aren't even using any charge shots at me or anything. Or trying very hard at all. <laughs> Oh look, I have a high score. I'll just play through this one loop though, and then find somebody to raid. Unless someone wants to suggest a raid, which would also be fine. I like the bonus game music. I, mean, I kind of like all the music, but in this game, it's not bad. But I particularly like the bonus game music, though. There you go, 38. Almost up to 40. And the bat. Oops, wanted to 
start with the left one. Missed. Got it. Oh, but I got myself to mash buttons to stand up. That. And if the timer runs out, then whoever has the most balls on the opponent's side wins. Unless they come to rest. There you see, I blew one of his balls back by uh, power throwing it through him. Got him! Oh, and now the obstacles showed up. No! That's bad. Oh, he got beamed. Good. And I got beamed. I've got to send the balls back. I might actually lose this round. Oh, nope, he got stunned. Oh, I probably got it now. Yeah, we're good. Get a lot less points if you don't get a perfect. If you don't get all the, all the balls over. Yeah, it didn't work. Ball across. There we go. Yay, I win! That's it, really, to this game. Although I think if you play it, if you play like more loop, if you loop back through it, it gets harder because I think they uh, start using charge shots and making things a little higher. You're your uh, bonus game uh, multiplier gets higher, though, up to like 1600, so you can rock up higher scores. Yeah, let's see who we should raid here. Ooh, it's actually on Twitch because I was looking at the stream editor. Uh, so who's. Who's a stream is in? The console man 23 is doing Lunar. He came by the other day, so I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll do that. Yeah, they are cute critters, uh, H. Lola. Kind of why I was thinking having this as my, like, filler game if I was gonna have, like, 10 or 15 minutes at the end of my stream. That wouldn't be enough time for me to like run upstairs and set up for the next game because it's on PCs and pick my camera up and switch everything over. Yeah, let's do a uh, console man because he came by the other other day and my first uh, video stream. Uh oh. Come on, keyboard. There we go. Uh. See, I don't have a working emote yet, do I? I don't think my emote's been approved yet. I submitted it, like, Friday night or something. Looks like it's not ready yet. The console and 1D3. I think that's right. Yep, that looks like it's working. Yeah, like, the game just keeps going, and I think it's more difficult as you go. But we're gonna go raid the console man. So on Thursday, I've got net track hockey on the schedule. This time, if nobody shows up, I'm probably gonna just do something else on the computer. I don't know what that would be. Might do like a flight sim or some other Star Trek related thing, like one of the Star Trek adventure games or something like that. I'll have to think about that a little bit, but. I'm going to have a, a more of a backup plan while either waiting for people to show up or after, like, people leave to uh, have something else to stream instead of just uh, flying around chatting. Though I don't mind doing that, but imagine that'll get boring after a bunch of hockey games in a row that don't happen. So I'll sort of explicitly plan for that to not be the uh, the plan. Anyway, I will uh, 
see anybody Thursday who's going to show up for NetTrack Hockey or whatever the alternate will be, or Saturday for Starfleet Academy. And you'll, with a, you know, full motion video of some of the original cast members. Bye!